we're going to let you play with a um, thousand pounds worth of monopoly money. So it's not real money. You're not going to be you're not going to be spending any money at all. But you're going to be trading and tracking um, stocks in real time. Um, on the internet using Excel, and we're going to see who out of the four classrooms is going to be the best trader. So that we're going to look at Excel today to see how we can use Excel to um, actually uh, keep track of stocks and shares on the um, international stock markets. And once we've got that going, I'll show you how to choose the best company. So the first thing we're going to do is actually look at the um, Excel spreadsheet that Mrs. Hardy's created, and I believe she's copied that into your Year 6 folder. Is that right, Helen? I have, yeah. Okay. If all right, okay. So what we're going to do, first of all, I can see 24 of you have managed to log in now. I'm going to open up um, Mrs. Hardy's stock sheet, and you should see the screen Let's go pink or purple in a moment. You could let me know when that's happened. You could, one of you could raise your hand up if I can see. But in fact, your screen has gone pink in front of you. Yeah, I can see that. Good. Okay. This is um, Mrs. Hardy's stock sheet. You're going to open up this in a moment. And what you're going to do is you're going to make a, um, a connection to the internet from this Excel spreadsheet. And it's from this spreadsheet that you're going to actually uh, buy, sell, and trade your stock in real time. So at the bottom of the Excel spreadsheet, you can see the live feed. Um, am I getting feedback there? Uh, no, we keep thinking we're going to lose you, but we haven't done yet. Okay, all right, it all sounds good. Um, if needs be, I, we can just go to a telephone conversation. Yeah, but, okay, um, so hopefully you can see that I've changed my page now. Now, this is what you'll see, and Mrs. Hardy um, has left her stuff in here. We need to get rid no, of it. No, I haven't. I've deleted it now. Okay, all right, well, I'm going to go and delete all Mrs. Hardy's stuff anyway. Um, I'm going to press the delete button. Uh, so yep. Yours is gone. So you've got like, now, yeah. Okay. So, what we're going to do now is um, I'm going to get a live feed. <laughs> and one of the websites you're going to go to is um, this one here, um, which is the uh, um, Money Extra website. And I'll do all this again with you slowly in a moment, but I want to show you the principle of what we're doing. Um, we're going to copy the, uh, the address of the page and then we're going to come back to our Excel page and this is the important bit. We're going to click on the data tab and we're going to click on the import external data and click on new web query. Is this all appearing quite quickly, Helen? Yeah, it's appearing on their screens very quickly. Okay, all right, excellent. So what happens is Excel opens up a brand new um, uh, web browser and you highlight the, the default page, which is your home page, and you paste in the website that you're going to go to in a minute and you click on go. And what the um, Excel uh, browser does is it goes and finds that web page and it identifies all the tables in a page and you're going to copy the tables. And it, it identifies a table by a little yellow arrow. Can you see in the corner here, there's a little yellow arrow, and that's the table we want to select. And we click on this um, yellow arrow until it goes into a green square with a, a, with a black tick. And when you've done that, you click on Import. Click OK. And it imports all that data from that website into your Excel spreadsheet. So that's the first thing I want you guys to do. Ah. Now that you can uh, look at the, the data, you can choose any company you like. You can think of Microsoft, you can think of anything, anywhere in the, in the world that you want to trade stock from. You can actually go and see whether you think it's a... Before you purchase, you can go and have a look on um, Google Finance and see and, and just look at the graphs and see if, obviously, if a stock has been going down more than it's been going up, you might think it's a risk. Uh, and if a stock has been going up, more than it's been going down, you might think it's um, you know a good bet. So you're going to have to make some choices because you're going to see who's going to make the most percentage gain in their stocks. It's not about money because we can't compare New Zealand dollars to um, uh, British pounds because they're different, different values. Okay. So what we're going to do is you, we're going to go to a website called MoneyExtra.com, and that's got all the listings on it of the. Uh, 
Can you see that web page now? Can you see that this is, these are all the companies that are listed on the London Stock Exchange that gets traded every day. And you can look down, you can look down there, there are all kinds of um, company names that you recognize. For example, like I can see it on here, yeah, um, BAE Systems. British Aerospace, there's Balfour Beatty, the construction people, there's um, Barclays PLC, there's a bank, there's British Airways, um, you go down, there's lots of them, lots and lots of companies that you recognise um, that you'd see in your in high street. Hello. Hello. Are you, are you tired? Not yet. I will be tomorrow. Um, I've got to be at school at 6 o'clock tomorrow in the morning. Oh. Yeah. I've got a television broadcast tomorrow morning. So I, 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 yeah. So I shall, I shall finish with you guys and then be at school at six o'clock in the morning today. Okay. Mm, not bad. So yeah, no, I'm not tired. Are you tired? Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, All right. Any other yeah. questions? Yeah, Brody, come on. Then. Um, what do you teach at your school? IT. That's all I do. I'm in charge of the IT for the entire school. It's a, it's a very large school. We've got um, 715 students in school. Um, and that's about it, I think. So I teach IT to 28, 28 uh, classes of children. Wow.